Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about Hester Biosciences, a very interesting stock in animal care and animal vaccination etc. So let's understand about the company. Let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Hester Biosciences, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that, it will help me grow the channel, it will help you also ask me questions or a greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you will have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up from day to day. For detailed market or company doc, you can directly email me and we can work things out. Now about the company, established in 1987, it is one of India's leading animal healthcare companies. It is the second largest poultry vaccination manufacturer. Uh, it exports around the globe including Africa, Europe and Asia. Uh, the products are ranging from vaccines, health products uh, to diagnostics. And the market cap of the company is around 1000 to 1200 crores. If you look at the financials, then these are the Q2 numbers of FY21 compared to last year and, and it has been pretty decent. So sales went up by 22% although profit remained flat, absolutely low debt, there is very little debt uh, that is there with the company. Decent promoter holding is there but FII and DII holding is less. A return on equity is around 26%, operating profit margin is 25% which is quite decent for the uh, company that it is and the sector that it is into having uh, greater than 20% ROE is uh, pretty good. If you look at the performance of the stock, so stock has done nothing over the last 3 year period so since December of 2017. Till now, uh, stock is probably down around 11% as I said from those levels. So this is the time to really probably accumulate the stock because once it makes uh, highs uh, greater than 2017 December, it's going to go even further higher. Uh, have a good uh, ROE and, and profit growth. So before uh, the last two quarters which have been subdued, the ROE of the company was closer to 34-35%. So you need to understand that, that the company is delivering very well on the bottom line and operational efficiency is there for all to see. Has performed exceptionally since March and the fall that has taken place as has been with many of the stocks. So the last 10 months or so has been pretty good. Uh, in a unique and niche space of itself, only two companies listed in it. The, for the second company, I'll make a video in a couple of weeks time. Uh, results have been decent in difficult times also. Uh, results have remained uh, pretty good. And numbers may continue to improve going forward rather than decline. So that's the positivity that... Uh, uh, the company brings and the stock brings uh, for investors. So why I believe it is a buy on decline. A unique business with uh, top clients. Uh, you need to understand that it is one of the leading uh, animal healthcare provider uh, for drugs and vaccines mm -hmm. for, for, for that space. And uh, remember that defensives are coming back into focus and, and this will continue to happen over the next couple of years at least. Uh, the top and bottom line has been strong and even in as I mentioned in very difficult uh, 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 times uh, for the pharmaceutical sector uh, something like uh, uh, Hester Biosciences has done really well. Uh, so have consolidated over time so that consolidation period has also gone and numbers are improving so we could see a real breakout of the stock in the next two to three uh, months time return ratios are very good and sector should be in a bull run for the next 18 months 18 24 months it should do well later on i would still believe that consumers will come back but at the moment i think pharmaceutical and especially this space of animal care uh, would do well remember that it is a slightly in a different space than you would say that pharmaceuticals are in so uh, just take that into consideration 
so what needs to be done can buy now or on major dips uh, may emerge as one of the winners over the next five year period so this is not like your uh, simple pharmaceutical business that i would i was advocating to hold for a year or 18 months so this is a very good company in a different niche space which could be held on to four five six year period and this could become extremely big so have a good five year uh, view and have less than 10 percent exposure to such stocks So this was a video on Hester Biosciences. Please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when I post to me, post it. Uh, kindly support me on Patreon as well. Thanks a lot for watching.